Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play... What are we doing again? <laughs> Let's Play Zelda Classic uh, Bastion's Third Quest. I'm your host Bastion, and I'm apparently extraordinarily forgetful. Um, when we last left off, we had just defeated dungeon number six. We've com collected a crap load of rupees, so I'm going to... Ooh, actually first, I was about to say I'm going to go by the blue ring, but first I'm going to see if four, uh, see if this is enough to use the, yeah, sweet, okay, we've got the magic sword, um, anyways, now I also want the blue ring, and that's all the way over in the graveyard for 200 and, oh, that's 240, 255 rupees. Ugh. Okay. I guess I could buy more potion. I don't remember how that works. I don't remember if if you have a blue potion, if you can buy another blue potion to get a red potion. I'm not sure if that actually works that way. I guess I can stop by the ferry over here. Okay, this is not the ferry, right? It's the one next door? Nope, this one is the ferry. I don't remember what, what is next door. Let's find out now. Uh, it's probably, probably nothing. I'll go ahead and blow the whistle anyway, just for the heck of it. When I was very young, I read an ancient Nintendo Power that had a, a story that was submitted by some kid, and um, and this I did not mean to do that. And the story um, was about him trying to figure out how to get through, uh, how to find. I I can't remember which dungeon number that was in the first quest, but how to find whatever dungeon that was, and about how he was standing at that lake, and it wasn't super well written. It was obviously written by a young kid, but uh, about how he was standing at that lake and just played his whistle for the heck of it. And uh, sure enough, it it works. What's down here? Oh, I don't need your money right now. Moblin. I've got enough as it is. So I went up, left, down, oh, oops, down, left, trying to quickly get through here without getting zapped by any of those lionels, and then it was here that we want to play the whistle, I think the only place in this quest to buy a ring is here, and it's secretly hidden, so I think I set it up so that basically you can't really ever, unless you're lucky, you, you won't probably ever find the ring, the blue ring. Uh, okay, I was like, wait a minute, I'm still wearing green clothes. Okay, so the clue that we got from Mr. You know, maybe, maybe he'll give me a heart. Uh, the clue that we got from Mr. Cryptic Old Man in the previous dungeon, as far as the location for this next dungeon, is east of... Oh my gosh, I've completely forgotten. East of the... Oh boy, I should have made a note of it. East... East of... East of the graveyard, right? East of the graveyard. Hmm. <laughs> Something about under a statue. East of the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have made a note of that, huh? Well, this is east of the graveyard. East of the graveyard. West of the... 
Well, I'm just going to look for statues to push. I think there's statues on this next screen. Some Armos. Not a fan of Armos because they tend to... So far, no dungeon entrance. This is east of the, uh... Ah! Hmm. Right. Well, I have no clue. East of the graveyard, like south of something else? I can't imagine that I'd put the dungeon underneath one of these armors. Hmm. Ah. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pause really fast and take a look at that previous video and see exactly what that old man said. I'll be right back. Alright, so I went ahead, took a look at the video, and it says east of, <laughs> east of the graveyard, west of the spring, below a statue. So I'm heading back to that spring that we found because that spring is something that's brand new to this quest. Uh, there's no spring usually here. So I'm going to assume that it's underneath one of these Armos. Aha! <laughs> uh, dastardly Armos. Okay. Level 7 has a locked door, but we've got the magic key. <laughs> it's it's all locked doors, just... I, I see what I was doing there. I was like, oh, ha, 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 now I'll just lock all of the doors right after they get the magic key, so that way they feel like they're actually putting their new item to good use, or to any use. Ah, blue wizard, no like you. Uh, Blue Dark Nut also no like you. But this is pretty decent. Okay. Alrighty then. What's in here? Something dangerous. Hey, we haven't seen these guys in this entire quest. I guess I saved some of the best lo ah! Well, that's not going to work out so well. That's a fun little secret, in case you didn't know, if you place two bombs directly in front of um, the Dodongo, then for whatever reason you're able to actually attack it with your sword. Uh, if I can remember which button is right. Well, I got more bombs back, but that makes me think that maybe I'm supposed to bomb up here. Maybe to the left? Uh, I don't know, if I gave myself bombs here, it must mean something. I'll just assume that I need to bomb everywhere. Okay, well, so much for assumptions. Now, where are we going to go? There were a whole bunch of locked doors down below, right? But I guess may as well just figure out where this stuff is. Ah! Uh, oh my gosh, I hate blue wizard robes. Okay. Oh, another pattern. Oh, how is this gonna work? I, 
I'm gonna have to be very careful with my bombs. Okay. Blah! I forgot which button was bombs. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay. Ah, I missed. Okay. So that was not the right way. Oh, Lord. This is not fun. Okay, that's totally going to trap me. Did it? No. Let me out of there. Okay, Dark Nut, I, I, I don't like you. Uh, I like Red Bubbles even less. I don't really think I need to battle the Dark Nut. Whoops. Oops. Can I use... I feel like I found out before that I can't use the wand against Dark Nuts. Oh, except you can. But only as a... Um, those red bubbles are being funny. I guess I'll go up here. Uh, the dongos. Okay, which button is which? Right. Oh, I couldn't get to him in time. Oh, nuts! Oh, there we go. What? Ah. Oh my gosh, what is going on? My technique is no longer working. Oh lord. <laughs> hmm. If I get trapped in another room with some stongos, I'm kind of screwed. And knowing myself, I'm sure that there's at least one more room with the dongos. Okay. Uh, that's not cool. Oh, oh. Okay. As long as I'm just there, I definitely have sword swiping power. I'm just. I can't imagine that there's anything in that room, except death. Oh, probably also nothing in this room. I'm just going for it. Probably just need to trigger the door opening mechanism. Ah, darn it. Come here, blue bubble. Whew, that was close. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculously deadly. Oh my gosh, this is kind of ridiculous. I might have to use a potion. Huh. Those guys don't breathe fire, that's a welcome change. I feel like I'm going around in circles. Is this seriously what this dungeon is designed like? Okay, I'm going to need, going to need Mr. Blue Bubble back. And I'll need it back again. Oh, that would, okay, here we go. What's this way? More danger. 
It's getting more and more red bubble like. Okay, we're finally reaching somewhere new and unusual. That was exactly the wrong thing to do. I I don't advise pushing that kind of block <laughs> there. I don't really need to worry about getting the blue bubble because I'll worry about getting the blue bubble in here where I have more room to move around. I almost did it again. That would have been disastrous. This is kind of ridiculous. I don't, I don't know what exactly I thought I was doing here, but uh, how am I... If only I knew what the enemy was. Oh good, I got it. Okay, what's down here? The bow. So something tells me it's going to be Goma. Then again, in the dungeon that I got the uh, whistle, I thought for sure it was going to be Dig Dogger, but it turned out not to be. Now I've got to backtrack all this crazy way. could have maybe designed these rooms so that those things weren't right next to the door. That one place where it was basically trap central was terrifying. Which is about to come up soon, I believe. Is it this room or the next? Yep, this room. Oh my gosh, I can't even... Oh my goodness. Ugh. I mean, I guess I could just... Oh boy. I guess I could just let myself die, and then that will take me back towards the beginning where I'm trying to get to anyway. But let's just see if I can get there uh, of my own volition. I do not know where I'm supposed to go now. Up was just the dig dogger room, right? I don't want to go. I don't think. I don't know, but I worry that if I go in there, I'll be forced to battle the dig dogger situation again. Don't want to do that. Okay, so what's up? Doesn't seem like it would be anything to the left, so probably just something down here that I haven't yet done. Uh, blue whiz robe. Oh boy, dig doggers. You know, if I just die, nah. Ugh, I don't know why that... Oh, wow, I'm out of arms. I've got no option but to die. Well, that's exciting. Right? Hey guys, welcome back to the midway point of this episode of Let's Play Zelda Classic Bastion's Third Quest. I'm your host, Bastion, and it has now been a week since uh since i died in dungeon seven so let's <laughs> see if we can get back into it uh let's see here i think i'm i think i've got the screen centered hopefully um yeah so it has been a week so i kind of oh we start right back in the dungeon well that's cool 
Um, we've only got three hearts though, so I think we're going to li leave. There's fairy. It sure would be nice if you. Oh, I did not mean to. Oh, hey, we can just get refilled hearts right here. That's pretty cool. If the Armos doesn't get us, okay. So yeah, it's again. It, it it's been a week, exactly one week <laughs> since I played this. So we'll see how well I get through the oh, dungeon. I do need bombs though, don't I? So actually, I really should probably go questing for bombs uh, before I enter the dungeon. That's what did me in, if I remember right. Oh, bombs right from the get go. Maybe this, maybe this won't uh, be too much of a I can't think very well right now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hopefully he gives me bombs and I can just hit no. Okay, well, I'll I'm bound to get bombs soon, so we'll just see how this goes. I I would like a good full eight bombs before I head back in there. Which just means I need to get one more bomb drop is all. I'm sorry. I, I love the theme song so much I can't help but to sing it. Okay, come on. Just give me some bombs, please. I don't want to have to go find somewhere to buy bombs at. That would be so annoying. Oh boy, I mean, I guess I could go to the graveyard and kill some ghosts, or maybe, maybe I'll find bombs in the dungeon. Maybe I should just go into the dungeon, see if I can get bombs, see how that goes. I can't believe I called them ghosts. I'm such a stickler for calling things by their official names. I should have said guineas. It's interesting that some enemies from Zelda, uh, classic Zelda and then modern Zelda, have the same names. Things like Moblins and Dark Nuts and Tektites and all that jazz. But then there are enemies like the Guineas, who are now called Poes. I mean, for all intents and purposes, they're the same enemy, I think. Now they're called Poes, and isn't there another enemy that... Oh yeah, Gibdos are now called... Redeads. I mean, I assume they're the same basic enemy. I guess you can't really assume that. I mean, you can't assume that Bokoblins are the same as Moblins, that's for sure. They're in the same family, but not, not quite the same. Okay, so, uh, no. <laughs> this is exactly what I don't want. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, I should have done the trick. That would have made it so that he would have given me bombs. Oops. That's not the trick. <laughs> oh, well, I guess he just auto-gives bombs anyway if you kill, kill him. I'm just now remembering that I forgot to do something, but... Oh, well. No, it was not get bombs. It, it was something... Something else, but I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, have I gone over here ever? It does not look like it. Why don't we explore that way now? Okay, I clearly knew better in in the previous playthrough. I do love being able to attack attack dark nuts without them. Yay, bombs! That's exactly what I wanted. It's like Christmas all over again. Okay, so... I wonder if that is trying to tell me that I should bomb somewhere. I, I'm gonna listen to my instincts and waste... Oh, see? Okay. I know what's up with my own self. Oh, boy. This is not going to be fun at all. Ah! Oh my gosh. 
This is kind of ridiculous, Clinton. It's funny how just the right combo of enemies can make an otherwise not too terrifying room suddenly become terrifying. Uh, okay, that worked out okay. Ah! I just need that blue... Wait, do I have an item that... No, nothing. Arrows? I don't want to waste my rupees, though. I'll just wait for a blue bubble. Or, hey, I'll go actively pursue it since it was separated from the red bubbles. Okay. I would like those rupees, and then I would like to push this, probably. Yep. Oh. Interesting floor square problem. This room is terrifying. <laughs> I'm not doing well at all. Okay. Nope. Alright. No, don't get me red bubble. I just wanna be free. Okay. This level is tough. Okay. Probably none of these are pushable. Ah, uh, if these things spit fire. Oh boy, this room is... You know, actually, now that I think about it, why, why am I trying to... Why am I... Why am I trying to kill all the enemies all the time? I can just run through. Burn a bush in the Lost Woods. Okay, so level number eight involves burning a bush in the Lost Woods, then. That's good to know. Ah! Now I'm swordless. But there are so many bubbles everywhere that it probably doesn't matter that I'm swordless. Oh well. Now I'm dead. Right, so I want the red bubble to go away. Oh, nuts. Okay. Now that I remember that I, I, I really should just be running through these rooms, not actually killing all the enemies all the time. Oh, I should have exited. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I should have exited the dungeon and got my hearts refilled. Okay. Hmm. Ugh. Gray keys. I don't think I've ever seen too many gray keys in my life. Ah. I've got to wait for a blue... Well, there are bubbles everywhere. I think my new strategy is just to say what the heck ever about getting hit by a red bubble and just running for it. Oh, well. That's... 
unfortunate. So I think I'm pretty safe, actually. If I just stand here and keep my shield up when the Wizrobe is aiming at me, then I should be fine. And then I can just wait for the Wizrobe to come over here. Oh, no. Ah! Curses. Gosh, darn it. Okay, well now I will exit <laughs> and get my hearts refilled. I'm going to equip this since I'm still swordless, which I'm pretty sure is a weird bug that has nothing to do with how I've, how I've set this up. Uh, I really want full, full hearts when I get in there. Okay. Do do do. Now, is this the fourth time? Fourth time is the charm. That's the spirit, right? Uh, I don't want to get hit by a red bubble. But it's just staying there. It's not like I'm gonna have to, okay. It's finally leaving that er area. No? Come on, red bubble, go away. Mm, now there are two of them. <laughs> ah, now it got me. Maybe I should stick to my tactic of not really caring so much about the red bubbles and just go as a room by room sort of basis and see what I can do as far as blue bubbles. Oh boy. Uh, well, I got my sword back, so that's good. Oh boy. So, got my sword back, good. Then this room, uh, this room. just quickly get out of here before taking any damage. Uh, I would really like to have gotten the blue bubble to keep my sword for this room, but oh well. We'll see how well I can get through here without it. Uh, why did I do that? I know that the magic beam can't hurt the Wizro, but I think the actual physical part of the rod can hurt it. Okay, with that Dark Knight gone, I think this is going to go a lot easier trying to get the... the oops, did I get my sword back? I did get my sword back. Okay. I think this will go fine. If I can just lure the whiz robe over to this side where there are no bubbles. Come on, whiz robe. You know you want to come over this way. Come on, whiz robe. Oh, 
Okay, here he comes. Now, this is going to take some interesting timing to keep my sword. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't gotten hit and hit by. Ah, uh, nuts. Well, we'll see what's in the next room. Maybe it doesn't matter so much. And of course, it totally. Oh my goodness, matters. Oh, I don't need my sword for Goma. I just need a few arrows. Oh, whoops, I forgot which button was the arrow button. That, ah, this is not going super well. Damn it. Do I have a potion? I'm just going to use this potion because... Because I want to... Ah, keeps closing his eye, just as I'm about to do it. Okay. I don't even remember if we ever actually got an item from this dungeon. I think we did. Maybe we did. Anyways, that's it for this episode. See you guys next time. Bye.